child. We're going out. I'm a specialist in anesthesia, and at DRF Air Rescue, I'm the chief helicopter doctor at a 24-hour station for medical matters. I'm head of the Department of Medical Product Management at DRF Air Rescue, and in close consultation with management of my specialist area, I'm ultimately responsible for the entire process of acquiring medical equipment and ventilators. For us, primary deployment begins with an alarm from the Rescue Coordination Centre, after which we make our way as quickly as possible to the deployment site, where we and the ground staff then look after the patient and stabilise them so they can be transported. If I have to ventilate a patient pre-clinically, the challenge for me as an emergency doctor is that I only have limited options at my disposal. I only have a short time to attune to the patients and their medical needs, and I have to be able to rely on my medical equipment. Draeger has a wide range of equipment for us in preclinical emergency medicine. This ranges from CO detectors for the safety of your own staff, helmets for the fire brigade and compressed air breathing apparatus through to ventilators which allow us to give our patients differentiated treatment. In the preclinical field, it is important that the equipment be robust, compact and light. Because of the unique deployment profile of air rescue, we not only attend to emergency patients, but also transfer many patients from hospital to hospital, we need equipment that brings the properties of an intensive care ventilator from the hospital to the roadside. And over the years, the Oxilog has proved its reliability in the field of air rescue. In my opinion, the biggest advantage of Draeger equipment is the operating philosophy. As a greater part of the ventilation and anesthesia equipment in German hospitals is provided by Draeger, our emergency doctors are well acquainted with this equipment, thanks to their daily use of it. So we don't have to give the air rescue staff a special instruction. Users don't have to get used to a new operating concept, but can instead directly apply their experience of clinical practice to emergency medicine. My name is Andreas Bayer, and I'm an anaesthetist and senior physician in the Department of Anesthesiology. This is Lenya, aged eight, suspected isolated cranial cerebral trauma, ABC stable, protective intubation, and we're transferring her two, three. As anaesthetists, we not only look after the patient in the ICU and OR, but also help them as soon as they are admitted to hospital. Medical technology is important when we switch from the rescue team's ventilator to our own one. In our trauma rooms here at Grossharden Hospital, we use a Primus as our anesthesia workstation. The Oxilog 3000 Plus is our transport ventilator, and we use the Infinity monitoring system. We apply a flexible modular concept to the organization of our medical equipment in the trauma room so that we can adapt the arrangement of this equipment and thus also our workplace layout to diverse challenges. And as the Draeger equipment forms a crucial part of our medical equipment in the trauma room, this modularity is possible without restriction. Ventilation management, quality and reliability are what Draeger represents for me.